One million of every fantasy army is currently defending the beaches of Normandy. We have House Stark from Game of Thrones at the front lines, backed up by Minecraft villagers as well as Squirtles from Pokemon and Green Army Men from the Plastic War series. Up top here, we have 501st Clone Troopers as well as their neighboring UNSC Marines from Halo over this way. If we travel way down this way, we have Lego Black Falcon Archers as well as way down over here, we've got ourselves Cadian Imperial Guardsmen from Warhammer 40k. Behind all of them, we have Gondorian Knights from Lord of the Rings, and they are backed up by none other than Zealots from StarCraft II. And in the way back, coming in as reinforcements, is none other than Freddy Fazbear from Five Nights at Freddy's. Can all of these fantasy armies, totaling one million soldiers, defeat the Roman army that is laying siege to the beaches. They already have 2 million Roman soldiers on the beach here, and they are going to be shipping in another 7 million Roman soldiers, generals, archers, and catapults. That makes it a total of 9 million Romans invading 1 million of every fantasy army. If you guys do enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe when notifications turn on, and comment down below if you'd like to see some more in the future. Either way, let's get right on into this thing. What's up gamers? I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Men of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton so thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to instant gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel Alrighty then boys let's go ahead and press start right now and the roman legions begin their charge on the fantasy armies house stark is going to be the first ones to intercept here the soldiers of Winterfell are ready for the Romans. And we do have the 501st Legion and UNSC Marines firing down on the Romans as well. Uh, potentially getting some kills, although their shields can deflect bullets. <laughs> so that'll be fun to see how that works out for the UNSC Marines and 501st Legion. Here we go, House Stark starting combat with the Roman soldiers here. And the House Stark soldiers actually have about 500 health. The Romans only have, uh, I believe, 200? Wait, we can verify that. Yes, 200 health for the Romans and 500 for House Stark. So House Stark should be about two and a half Romans worth of soldiers. Every soldier from House Stark should kill two and a half Roman soldiers. That'll be good. That'll be good. But the Romans are going to move through them with relative ease and then get on to the villagers over this way. We, of course, have the Green Army Men back here who have less range than, like, the 501st Troopers and stuff like that, so they're not firing quite yet. There should also be some Squirtles out here, and yes, they are just waiting their turn to get to the front lines, but eventually I feel like a few of them will make it through, and yes, they are worming their way through. There's, uh, there's a couple in here, stuff like that, and the Pokemon in this game are absolutely deadly. They can destroy enemy units, so... Be ready for a crazy battle when they do get to the front lines here. We've got about 6,000 dead fantasy army units, about 193,000 dead Romans at this point. So the Romans are having a real, real hard time at the moment coming out. And you have to remember that a lot of their losses are going to be due to crush and drowning, uh, because as they spawn in here, units get crushed together and stuff like that, and they end up glitching and dying and stuff like that. It's fairly common, but we've got the catapults moving in here. We should also have Roman archers. Yes, we do. And there should be Roman generals. Yep, the golden Romans are the Roman generals. Uh, so, whole lot of Romans coming on in here. And, of course, the two million to start on the beach as well. They're still working their way through House Stark at the very front lines. But on the flanks, it looks like 
the extension of the Game of Thrones units is a little bit smaller, so they're able to not only flank over here, but also start attacking over this way against the Cadian Guardsmen. Very nice! So Roman's going up against some Warhammer units over here, although at the moment, Warhammer units don't seem to have any problem going up against these Roman soldiers. Uh, they're just kind of mowing them down right now. We might need archers or catapults over here to help out, or even the Roman generals, which are just a much more powerful unit. But right now, the machine gun fire from the Cadian Guardsmen seems to be enough. We've got almost half a million dead Romans at this point. They lost so many soldiers so fast, uh, and about 14,000 dead fantasy army units. So the Romans are doing horribly at the moment. <laughs> really, really bad. They are getting into the villagers over here. That's good to see, all right. Romans versus Minecraft villagers. And it looks like they're putting up a good fight here. Just wait until the Iron Golems show up. No, we didn't put any Iron Golems on the battlefield. Oh, but the Freddy Fazbears have entered the front lines as well. Very nice, so these guys were on attack mode, so they're basically like reinforcements for the fantasy armies coming in. I think they have 500 health, I wanna say. Let's see, 700, so they're a little bit more powerful too. Uh, so they'll be tough to fight, but Still don't have any catapults at the front lines yet, and no generals at the front lines either. Over this way, Roman's climbing up this mountain to get to the UNSC Halo Marines here with their battle rifles. But these guys are doing a bang-up job of killing Romans. Let's see how much damage we could do to a Roman. Okay, it's about 100 per shot, which is not bad, so two shots will kill a Roman very, very easily. So those are pretty powerful units right there. Romans struggling to even get to the top of this little area here. It's going to be up to the middle ground, and especially up to the catapults that are coming on in here. If these things can start flinging rock, which they are, look at that spam. Let's go. Falling short quite a bit, but uh, actually over, over here, they're hitting a lot of their shots. That's going to be exceedingly helpful and possibly turn the tide on this invasion because it's going to be, it's going to be rough. So they are getting those catapult shots in there. The Romans are dealing with them. Oh, there's some Squirtles involved. Yeah, each Squirtle can kill like 20 Romans with a single swing. Squirtle Squirr. <laughs> they are some tough cookies. Squirtle Squad is a, is a fierce force. They can be deadly. Those catapults are also equally deadly. I don't think the archers are really firing yet. I'm not really seeing many arrows in the sky or anything like that, but hopefully they get close enough to the front lines fairly soon to start working some magic on them too but right now the romans are definitely having a very very hard time of it they're not doing great they've lost a million soldiers and they've only killed about forty thousand enemies so yeah clearly they are not doing well at all they need to really step it up to take on every fantasy army that ultimate epic battle simulator has to offer and I think these catapults will definitely save the day, but it's going to take a little bit of time still, especially because these gaps are just being caused by the Squirtles. The Squirtles are becoming very problematic. Romans really got to deal with them. There's only like 500 of them on the battlefield, something like that. So there's not that many. All right, why don't we time lapse this over here as the Romans come through the middle. Well, guys, through the time of that time lapse, we've got about 6 million Roman soldiers remaining. They've killed 169,000 fantasy army units at this point, so that's pretty good. But it seems like they're still having trouble out here. Are they, like, hunting down Squirtles still? Yeah, Squirtles are, like, rolling around, getting hunted. As you can see, a few of them have died. Oh, my God, that's so sad to see. What the heck? Um, but it's distracting a lot of these frontline Roman soldiers who instead could be going up here and actually taking out large swaths of House Stark and villagers still, but that's all right. We'll, we'll have to make do with what we got and take care of the Squirtles. But over here, Roman generals are starting to breach these villager lines, and it looks like they might be charging some green army men soon. They do have to go up against a number of Freddy Fazbears, though. That's the crazy thing about these fantasy army battles. Just the number of weird units on the battlefield. It's... It's insane, but these guys are getting a nice little breakthrough going on now, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to start taking on some of these guys, and actually their reflection uh, ability might be damaging these guys, because the shields will reflect their own bullets, 
and archers. You can see arrows starting to hit some of these green army men troops here. Oh, here we go. They might be making connections. Nice. I mean, these green army men are super weak. They are toys after all. So they only have 100 health and they do about 10 damage per shot. So they're not the strongest unit. Uh, but I mean, still, they're a ranged unit. They're going to do well just overall in these types of battles. Um, over here, still some villagers remaining. Freddy Fosbear are coming out and uh, distracting from the UNSC Marine problem. So these Romans are having to deal with more troops coming at them over here before they can go for those Marines over that way. Squirtles, again, distracting over here. And so these still just tons of villagers over this way. Hopefully they get taken out soon. Uh, looks like we do have a breach over here with a number of these uh, catapults actually getting pretty far forward as well as archers. And they're starting to go uh, against some of these Freddy Fazbear who are coming forward over here. And the 501st Legion is still just freely firing. I wish we could see how many kills in particular like a single unit got because I bet some of these 501st troopers who have just been firing for like literally 30 minutes now I bet they've got some serious Roman kills under their belt. I bet they are doing pretty darn well. We are about to have 5 million Romans left alive. So about 4 million Romans dead in total. And about 800,000 fantasy army units still alive as well. Over this way, uh, the Romans are still just slowly but surely dealing with House Stark over here. It's a, it's a bit of a grind, but they're, they're making it work. Over here, they're going up against some more Freddy Fazbear's. We can see more arrows coming in, which will help out the Romans considerably. And how are the Imperial Guardsmen doing? Okay, it looks like more Imperial Guardsmen are dying. Maybe some arrows are penetrating them a little bit here in their ranks, which is good. And some more Romans are getting up to them. But still, these guys are wiping out Roman after Roman with their machine gun fire. It is a brutal, brutal battle here. Oh! Over here, green army men having another breach as more uh, Roman generals come on in here and start to squash them. So that's going to be one less unit firing in at the Romans getting kills. Um, and then we've, of course, got the archers from the Lego soldiers up here trying to defend their army men brothers. I mean, Lego and army men soldiers, kind of two peas in a pod. So they're, they're working together. I'm not sure how many kills these guys are going to be getting, but they're probably getting a few. As you can see, there's like a bit of a hailstorm of arrows coming down against those Roman soldiers. So that'll be fairly devastating. The last of the villagers and Stark soldiers over here are getting taken down. I, I'm guessing probably the Squirtles are all dead now, but, I mean, there's not too many catapults remaining for the Roman cause here. So they're about to be fully out of catapults. Um, I mean, they did a good job against the front lines, but once those are gone, the Romans are going to have no more really heavy, heavy hitting units. It's going to be up to archers and Roman shields from then on. Still more green army men going down. And we've got the Knights of Gondor joining the battlefield. So these guys were on guard mode back here along with the uh, Zealots who are on hold mode. So uh, just the Gondorian Knights are on guard mode. And they are now within vicinity of the Romans to come and join the battle. Now, these guys, not the most powerful. They've got 430 health, so they're fairly decent. A little bit weaker than House Stark, but I think in terms of like more accuracy I would think Knights of Gondor would be able to defeat House Stark like just overall I, I think Lord of the Rings has a higher power level than Game of Thrones just in my opinion but that's just my thought. So either way, they're coming up to meet some of these Romans as well. We are now down to 4.41 million Romans. So the Romans are at literally half of their total soldiers left. And the fantasy armies still have 779,000 troopers remaining. So the Romans are definitely in some trouble here. But they are getting more and more archers on the field, which is helping them increase their kills. Uh, they went a very long time. They... they had like two million soldiers lost with very few kills and so now they're finally starting to get those increased kills with the help of their archers and catapults so they are accelerating their killing process but they're already at a bit of a deficit here so it's it's rough it's hard uh let's go ahead and watch a time lapse of these roman generals coming in and attacking freddy fosbear and the knights of gondor at the same time let's do it baby
Well, the Romans have been pushed back here fairly considerably. So uh, they right now are not doing well at all. They only have one million soldiers left in total, and that number is depleting extremely fast. And they've only killed about 500,000 enemies. <laughs> So they only have gotten away with killing about half of the total fantasy army. Now I say we run it back and we try and buff the, uh, the Romans here to try and take on these defenders a little bit better. I don't know how we're going to do that. Maybe we give them Spartan soldiers. Maybe they ally with the Spartans and, and we go with that. And maybe also give them more catapults could help too. And more Roman generals. But as of right now, it seems like the first battle that we have going on here is going to be a big fat L for the Romans and a big fat W for the uh, fantasy armies here. Yeah, only 720,000 Romans remaining. They lost about 300,000 soldiers in the blink of an eye right there. Absolutely crazy. Um, but let's go ahead and watch some Gondor versus Roman action at the top of this mountain here, which will surely result in big defeats. Despite everything, the Romans are putting up a decent fight here. Only 12,000 of them remaining, but I'm proud of them for doing what they did here. Uh, and there's 547,000 of the fantasy army troopers remaining. The zealots back here, not even touched. So I think there might be too many range units, like the, the Imperial Guardsmen over here might have been a little too OP. So we might limit the number of range units that the uh, fantasy armies have, as well as boost the more powerful units that the uh, Romans have access to. Either way, 10,000 more Romans uh, left to die here. They're, they're slowly getting killed, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll let them have their little heyday. Why not? And there we have it. 28 Romans remaining. They're probably glitched somewhere, so this about... Oh, no, they're not! They're actually fighting. That's rare. Uh, so they're dying out here. 12 remaining now. And 541,000 fantasy army units remain. So let's go ahead and redo this thing and try to bolster the Roman lines. All right, guys. I... Oh, a little bit of lag. I've limited the number of 501st Imperial Guardsmen and UNSC Marines to 10,000 soldiers uh, on the battlefield for each of those units because before they had about 50,000 and they were just a little too powerful. I also replaced a lot of the Roman soldiers with uh, Roman generals and I also switched out one unit of Roman soldiers with Spartans and added more catapults. So the Romans as a whole should be a lot more powerful this time around. Uh, it's definitely going to be more helpful. Uh, I think these are just, these are Roman generals, aren't they? They're gold. It's hard to tell unless they're standing next to each other to differentiate. But uh, yeah, these should, I think, be Roman generals coming forward now. And they should be, ah, I dropped something on the ground. They should be a little bit more powerful going forward and capable of more. And, of course, uh, there's still going to be that heavy fire from, like, the 501st and the UNSC Marines and stuff like that. But it should be at least a, a portion less devastating this time around than last time around. That's for sure, because it's going to be less heavy hitting. Of course, now instead of uh, 50,000 catapults, we have 100,000 catapults. And there's some of those Spartans, which are a little bit more powerful than your standard Roman soldier. So upgrades all around for the Romans, slight downgrades for uh, the defending army. And I think it should make a fairly big difference between all of them here. At least that's the hope. So let's go ahead and time lapse the start here. Another semi-slow start for the Romans here. They've still got 8 million soldiers left, but they've only gotten 33,000 kills. It's not fantastic considering they've lost a million soldiers of their own, but now the catapults are here and they are raining, raining boulders on these villagers and uh, Game of Thrones soldiers. Also, the Squirtles once again distracting. Hopefully this time they can kill them a little bit faster which will be good, but overall, pretty crazy battle still going on here. 
the real question is, how are these flanks doing? Oh, well, the Freddy Fosbears are coming down, so they're not going to have much of an opportunity to go up and take on these UNSC Marines at the moment. So the Romans are going to have to deal with that. Well, Romans plus Spartans now, I guess. Although I don't really see any Spartans over here. I think they're more down mid, to be honest. And still, the grind continues over here. Oh, we'll just have to wait and see. It is going to be another one of those longer ongoing battles. Let's go ahead and do an overhead time lapse here so we can see the rocks coming in, see the soldiers moving in. Uh, and we'll do a bit of a longer one this time because I, I think there will be quite a bit happening over here. All right, boys, a bit of a 20-minute time lapse right there. And the Romans have breached the beach, and they're coming up towards the bunkers now, where the 501st Legion is helping hold them back with the Freddy Fazbear's and the Gondor Knights up here. Now, there is only 300,000 fantasy army units left alive, so clearly the Romans have done a lot better this time against them. There's only 2.8 million Romans left alive, so a third of their force versus about a third of the fantasy army force. So this is actually very even. Uh, and it looks like all of the Lego archers over here are dead. How are the Imperial Guardsmen doing? Over here we've still got Knights of Gondor. Oh, and there are still a few Lego archers. Very few, but a few. Uh, and then over here is where those uh, Imperial Guardsmen were. It looks like they put up a good fight, but ended up dying out. So rip rip potato chip to them. It is what it is. Over this way, we have, yes, the Zealots are finally getting involved on the battlefield. Lots of arrows going into them and Imperial, or sorry, Roman generals getting into them as well. Uh, these StarCraft II Zealots can be pretty powerful. They're hard to kill, um, but if you swarm them, I think they could do it, but they're gonna need a large force in order to get that done. And there's still distractions all over the place over here. That's going to cause some problems for the Romans, that's for sure. All right, let's check in on the UNSC Marines. Well, of course, here's the 501st Legion, which is still kicking it. Good for them, and they've got a lot of Gondor Knights and uh, Freddy Fazbear's with them. But over this way, more Romans, more Romans. Here's some Freddies, here's some Gondorian Knights, and it looks like, yes, the UNSC Marines still have a presence over here. Not a super large one, but yeah, because a, a portion of them have been killed. But there's still, still a lot of them kicking it. So they're still doing something. What's going on over here? This is a little odd. There's like a circle of, what the heck? Catapults all shooting nothing. Is there a glitch unit in the air here? What are y'all shooting? What if I have it like move? Try and move the glitch unit. What the heck? That's super strange. There must be a glitch unit in the air there. Hopefully it dies or something because that's distracting a lot of Roman soldiers over there. Yikes. The rest of the Romans pouring into the 501st this way but getting gunned down pretty wholeheartedly as they attempt this bum rush. Let's time lapse it again. It could be anyone's game here but I'm very excited to see who ends up winning. Romans are getting work done. They only have 1.8 million soldiers remaining from their starting 9 million, uh, but they're zoning in on the 501st here and starting to eliminate them big time. There's only 166,000 enemies remaining for them to kill, most of which is zealots over here, who are starting to get eaten away at by a whole lot of Roman soldiers over this way. I'm seeing a few of them pop up, which means there's probably catapults somewhere. I don't really know where. Uh, but yeah, these 501st Troopers are putting up a really great fight. Uh, they're doing an awesome job, but sadly, they will be going down. They've had help from random knights and freddies and stuff like that coming in, but I think the reign of them is about to be over. We've got a whole lot of archers up here just spamming fire into them. Spartans and Romans coming in and taking swing shots at them. They do have 2,400 health, so they have some serious health to them, but there's not many of them left. I think they're going to be gone fairly soon. And then it's just this big lineup of StarCraft Zealots who are very powerful and could potentially still win this thing for the Fantasy Army, although it's 
It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough, that's for sure. Because there's a lot of archers spamming fire into them. A lot of Romans, a lot of Spartans still, and some catapults way over here spamming fire as well. So these guys are definitely up against it, but I could see them maybe somehow swinging out with a win. So right now 160,000 uh, defenders remaining from every fantasy army and 1.74 million Romans remaining. This portion of Zealots pretty easily killed, uh, but the next portion over here is still standing and still having to deal with the Romans. So I, what I say we do is we go ahead and put them on counter-offensive mode so that way they're no longer just stuck and they can just freely roam as they please. And uh, now it's a bit more of a fair fight because the archers won't be able to just sort of chill anymore. The Zealots will actually be able to go after them. There's still 1.5 million Romans though and only 119,000 zealots although they're very powerful it's not looking too good for them although the archers are pretty weak I don't know we'll just have to see man we'll just have to see Wow, this battle is actually going on for a way longer that time than I thought it would. The Zealots are still out here fighting. There's about 80, uh, yeah, 84,000 of them currently left alive, and there's still 900,000 Roman units. This is taking a while, boys. A while. But that's all right. I mean, we got time. Why not? All right, let, let's just let it run. Let's just get a big old overhead, baby. The, the dark black uh, figures are zealots, and the lighter gray ones are the Romans. The zealots are kind of doing it, and I think a part of the problem is that a lot of the Romans are, like, distracted over here. Although, they're starting to get undistracted, but still so many of them are distracted and an invisible enemy. <laughs> So that's not good. Um, oh, wait. Wait, there was still UNSC Marines? This whole time? They came out of nowhere. Okay, well, they're over here with zealots just killing Romans on the beach. So the Romans are, yeah, half distracted, not doing a great job, dying up here. There's only 400,000 Romans left alive. There's still 62,000 zealots and UNSC Marines. So the Marines... And Zealots might actually do this, which would be crazy. I think part of the problem is these guys distracted over here half the time. Kind of sucks, but like, yeah, I mean, it's rough. It's rough. I think the Zealots might actually manage to do this, though, which would be crazy, but uh, it's definitely possible. Let's run it. And a miracle is done here. Somehow, at the very end of this thing, 40,000 Zealots and UNSC fighters managed to win this. Just 40,000 remaining, but they get the W. There's somehow negative 37 Romans remaining, so that's weird, but <laughs> it's happened before. I guess 37 Romans joined the fight with the Zealots is the only way I can possibly explain that. Either way, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below. I'll try to respond to some comments, but I will be away from uh, my computer. I'm going to Orlando. Zelda, Zelda and I are in the process of buying a house there, and so I need to go help with the uh, final inspection and stuff like that. So I might be away, but I'll try to respond on my laptop and stuff like that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.